Dude, I live on that floor. Yeah. They close at night. Yeah. When they love Johannes. Yeah, my dad's side's over there. Yeah. I remember that. Somewhere near here. <gasps> my school's over there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good one. Yeah, chỗ của em ở đâu? Chắc phải bên kia không? Oh. <gasps> That's where I went to kindergarten! This is where I always come down to eat breakfast. Is this one? Uh, 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 Looks French. Uh, Mary. Mary. Saint Mary. Saint so. Mary. Oh, is it church? No. no. Good morning. It is Tuesday. My cousin is still sleeping and I kind of want to go outside and just like adventure by myself. There's a lot of pit pockets in the city and so I haven't been able to like actually record like have my phone out. It's surgery day. I'm so excited but I'm also fucking scared. I have so many bug bites. Let me count how many. One, two, three. I think I have seven. This is what. Oh, let's do a what's in my bag. I carry dumb enough. I carry a Louis V bag um, with no zipper in Vietnam. Dumb, I know. I have my Apple. What is this called? Extendo charger or like a battery pack? Eyelash glue. I got the Revlon Ultra HD Vanilla Lip Polish. High shine. I have another. Of course. I'm going to put some on right now. Awesome. This, if you ever travel internationally, this is your best friend. Gummies will be better, I think. Hair scrunchy. Ah, this is so cute. This is a comb. It also has a mirror. There is you guys. AirPods. Our best fucking friend, especially when I was in um, the countryside when my mom grew up. Didn't vlog much there because it was really hot. There was nothing to do. Didn't vlog much there. I did vlog some like foods that I ate there. So I'll slide that through for you guys, but yeah, I have this in 24-7. I also spent time with my family, and it was my grandma's funeral, so I just chilled, and yeah. It's kind of, is it dirty? It's not that dirty. I keep my shit pretty clean. I wear two types of glasses. This one, and this one, which I probably wear a lot more than that one. I don't know what time it is. Six. And that is all of what's in my bag. I'm gonna go get some Vietnamese coffee. See you guys after surgery. is like right by the cranium it gave, it's like giving me major migraines right now i had to take fat from my leg so maybe you don't see it, that part right here but i didn't have enough fat on my face to do this surgery so i had to take fat from my thigh and put it on my eyes 
a weird procedure. I first opened my eyes. I was able to like, I can't do it right now, but I was able to look like if, if you want, if you were pointing your finger like right here, I was able to look up without having like my eyes like feeling irritated, which is fine. But I mean, right now it's irritated anyways. I can't eat shellfish. Um, I come back in like seven days to take this off. So for the next three days, I can't do anything. It was worse before because I had like nausea, but I had to pay roughly $500 extra for the numbing. In US dollars, it was like 1500 to get my eyelids done. I have to remove the band-aid by myself. You're gonna be here with me for that. I want done. Oh. So give you some perspective, this is what I look like. Let me show you in clear HD. So, this is my eyes. I look cute already. Let's do the rundown, right? This is called Alpha Symortrifine. Alpha Symortrifine. Alpha Symortrifine. I don't know. I don't know how to freaking pronounce this. But it looks like this. And I'm supposed to take two underneath my tongue um, three times a day. Morning, noon, and night. It dissolves and it tastes kind of sweet, so it's not too bad. And augmentin. Um, so one in the morning and then one at night after you eat. And oops, it looks huge. What it looks like. Uh, what you saw me do is this. So it comes out as a liquid. So three times a day, put it on a little q-tip and clean away this is for my thigh the incision is like this big but they marked my thigh this big and the band-aid was this long this is also for the eyes um it's the little ointment that you put on right after you clean it with the solution this is once a day um or twice a day. Honestly, I don't even think I need it because it's. Oh, wait, what? Oh, this is for after. After I take off my stitches, this is like once in the morning, once at night. This is for my thighs. It comes out orangey. It looks like this. Like an orangey ointment. I don't know if you watch Grey Anatomy, but they like rub the orange thing on before they actually like cut it. This is what that is, I think. This is for pain. If I do experience pain, um, it wasn't that bad, honestly. I think the nausea was what got me, but that's probably because I um, is for the you know the sedation and shit. This is my eye. To reduce puffiness um you leave it in the fridge you take it out put it on your eye that's it they give you this and this an instruction booklet and a thank you letter that is all my dear friends none of these stuff really makes you sleepy it's just the aftercare i'm a little worried that you know like over here it looks not symmetrical but then again like it's not healed yet so i don't know but yeah, so they, I don't know if you can see, but these are the incision. They use that to put the fat on my eyelids since I had no fat. Um, literally, I was at the place for, from like 9 9.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. And half of that is waiting. So we signed up uh, for a consultation 
waited four hours, got the consultation, waited another three hours, and then we went and got the procedure, which took about an hour. I was so scared. Like, I walked in there, and it just, they don't really comfort you the way, like, America would, like, comfort you, and plus, I... I know Vietnamese, but I know it if you like speak slowly and um, with the accent that I remembered when I used to live here. But a lot of people here, like it's so much has changed. People have moved from the countryside to here. So some of the accents I don't really like comprehend. Like, um, yeah. So I got on, I saw the, um, the operating table or like my bed and this is kind of disgusting, um, but I saw like a little residue of like someone else's before me. I don't know if it's meat, I don't know if it's like blood, but it looked like it was like skin in a ball, like on it. And I was like, nah, 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 nah. There's no way they're like that. There's no way this like top tier, you know, top tier um, like surgery place. She wiped it. And there was like a skid mark of like what you know like if you were to wipe like a droplet um of water and like you know there's a skid mark that's what i had but why is there like residue of like you know i didn't i couldn't say anything i didn't want to say anything i didn't even know how to express how i was feeling so i got on the table and then like they were supposed to get the fat from my stomach but they were like actually we don't want to leave a scar on your stomach um so we're just gonna take it from your thigh and so i thought i was gonna be knocked out but it was just more of like like extreme numbing um and they were like you can fall asleep if you want to but they kept like asking me to open my eyes but yeah that is enough for my rant today i'm gonna go rinse off because i haven't charged since yesterday for some reason now i feel like this eye is bigger than this eye which is strange because this used to be smaller than this one this is day three. I've been in the apartment all day today, just laying down. I don't know where I'm at. I don't know the scenery. I don't like have cash lying around. Well, I don't know where I'm going, so I'm not gonna go just anywhere. And plus it's really windy outside and it's raining and I don't want that to like infect my eyes. Um, the only thing I've done is just maybe go downstairs and get food. My cousins are working. Everybody's working, you know, like, um, my mom is coming in from uh, uh, Tanwa, which is where she grew up. So I left to Saigon a little bit earlier for my eye surgery. Right now I'm seeing visions, or I'm sorry, I'm seeing blurry vision. Um, like just a lot of blurry stuff. I'm trying to open my eyes, but it's like, I don't want to stress it out. So I've been kind of like squinting, but I don't know if that also may stress it out. I'm not gonna lie, this kind of sucks. Um, I've been watching a lot of recovery videos and like just trying to pick up on like what I can do to speed this up. It's just been really hard with all the street food. Everywhere you go, there's shrimp. There's like, it's uh, seafood. Everywhere you go, every meal has like seafood and stuff. And I haven't been here in 13 years, so it's so tempting because I want to try all the street food and just, you know, really indulge in Vietnamese culture. I'm not gonna lie, I ate shrimp yesterday, just a few, but obviously that fucked me over, um, pardon my language. And I haven't seen my cousin in about 13 years. He's so funny. I love his personality. Every time I see him, it's like a good time and so we were just like having um a few beers but light uh and yeah i mean i'm feeling pretty guilty about that <laughs> but when in vietnam you know it's gonna slow down my recovery that's fine because yesterday was the last day it was the only day that i was going to do that because my mom um i don't like drinking in front of my mom it like triggers her so i don't really like doing that so today she arrives um and yeah yesterday was fun but i'm paying for it today i am so bored and i'm homesick i just want to be back in my apartment see my dog 
But all right, um, that is my update for the day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Gotten a lot better, I think, in terms of, you know, puffiness, but the bruising is still there. This eye is still, whatever, um, comfort, and still blurry. Um, I'm trying not to blink too much. I'm still squinting. My vision's still blurry. The evenness of the thing feels better because yesterday this one was like really high up and this one's like whatever. So, yeah. Okay, so it is day six. I get my stitches off tomorrow and I couldn't be happier. I feel like getting the stitches off, a lot of people say like it's basically the next step to recovery. Um, my eyes have healed immensely. Like I think the bruising has gone down quite a lot. This part right here, I wish it was like a little bit like this but it's not and i'm not sure if it's because it's still swollen my vision is clear now it's not blurry i will talk to you guys tomorrow when we go there and get the stitches i have to wake up at 7 a.m but yeah thanks for tuning in i will update you tomorrow today i went to get my stitches out and i feel so much more comfortable. I can look up, I can look down, look sideways. It's, I'm just excited to go home and do so many things and I'm excited for this to heal. I've been washing my face, but I haven't been able to wash my eyelids and just like, oh, my hair is already getting like super gross. My hair is bugging me, so let me just do this real quick. My throat hurts. So I got there and um we waited for like maybe five minutes they asked people for me for my name and then um this guy escorted me up to like level six or something i'm not sure and then um this nurse took me into this room i laid down they put like a blanket over me i don't know why they put a blanket over me and then she started like going in it um it wasn't comfortable to say the least i don't really know how she took it out i couldn't record inside um they don't allow that for some reason you can tell from the video when i like like walked into the entrance this guy was like no video so i couldn't do that and um so this part kind of hurt a lot i think it's because she had to like cut the knot and the inside so the outside and the inside it was really it felt like you took tweezers and you pinched my skin which is exactly what she did but it felt like she missed the thread. She pinched my skin instead. My eyes were watering. I'm not sure if it was watering or if it was like blood. I all, all I know was it was wet in the corner of my eyes. Um, the aftercare, super easy. Serigel, it's silicone ointment for scars. Take a little bit of it and then you put it on where your scar is obviously and by october 7th i'm i should be able to you know do a full makeup routine and whatnot but truthfully i don't think i have to wait until that long um i think by the end of this week i should be fine and the dude said like after 10 days i could do it i get it can put on makeup the doctor even though the nurse said a month i trust the doctor Obviously, I'm going to be really extremely careful and I only wear it if I need it, if I need to, which I do have like three auditions that I have to go attend. This is what it looks like. So let me close my eyes. Yeah, thank you for watching. I will talk to you later.
restaurant here is absolutely epic. Look at the view. This is a vegetarian, um, actually a veggie. I think it's a vegan, not vegetarian. A vegan, this is a vegan restaurant. It's huge. There's a lot of temples around here and so it makes sense. But yeah, look at the hotel, bro. Look at the fucking rooms. Pardon my language. Look at the room. Those are pods, but they're hotel pods. How sick is that? And your view is this. Amazing. <laughs> It's the last day. I fly tomorrow morning at 8 no. Yeah, at 8 a.m. And um, I'm supposed to be at the airport at 4 a.m. So early night sleep, big family dinner. Um, but I just want to catch you guys up on how my eyes are doing. It's going good, actually. A little crusty, but... That's just how it is. You can't even tell anyways. Um, right now, this eye look kind of even to this eye. If I look at you directly, sometimes this one is a little bit smaller for some reason, but I have just accepted that one eye is always going to be smaller than the other. That's just how it is. No face is always like ever symmetrical, and if it is, good for you. Um, no, honestly, good for you because like at this point, I just think it's so overrated. I'm so over it. I mean, I'm satisfied with this like surgery. I actually have not worn makeup. I have not drink. I have not anything. I've gone through a whole cleanse without feeling like I need it for two weeks and a half. I've had like one night. I had uh, about a couple beers with my cousin, but that was it. That was only one night. And that was because it was for uh, my... My cousin had a wedding. That's his wife. Um, she's 22. And so it's weird because although they're my cousin for Vietnamese people is kind of like brothers and sisters, like kind of like siblings. So he still has the same energy. He still has the same goofiness inside of him. And I love that. It just felt so natural speaking with him. And it's just funny. It's just funny as hell. And um, my other cousin, who is a girl, she's like my bigger sister. She takes care of me. And like, it, it felt so, uh, hold on. I hate getting emotional because it's honestly not that emotional. It's not that deep. You know, we went shopping. She gave me so like, you know, we gave each other advice. We shopped for rings. I just like vented my heart out to her and she tells me about her life. And it's so refreshing. Cause honestly, <laughs> I'm so grateful for this trip even though I didn't do much, but I still got a lot out of it. My mom and I, our, our communication has, improved a lot she um she hugged me today isn't that weird to me it's weird she hugged me she kissed me uh i don't know about you but taurus is we don't really like especially with me like it's weird it's so weird we hug people that aren't that close to us right but when we hug some people like uh, somebody who is actually really close to us uh who we really care about it feels kind of strange um uh and I don't mean like, you know, like your significant other. I mean like just like really close friends or stuff like that. When you hug, it's kind of weird. <laughs> he hugged me today. We shared a tear because I actually saw my biological dad today. Um, and, you know, I've had over the years, I've had all these pen uh, like tension and and emotion towards him because I just didn't understand what happened. I was too young. I saw him today. I feel like I understand him a lot better. I feel like sometimes when people marry young, they just don't understand the value of family. They just don't understand how it works and oftentimes especially when you're living in you know in this economy i don't know how to really explain it y'all the culture here is like so different um i just know that everyone deserves a second chance i just have i still have so much love for my dad and i i understand what he's going through and i think that's really all that you that anybody really wants is to be understood. Vietnamese people, especially family, they really, really care for you. They make sure you're well fed. Swear to God, I've gained 10 pounds today because I'm forced to eat like multiple 
multiple portions. Any stereotypical things that you ever heard about Vietnamese and it's bad, you don't know. Come to, like, well, Vietnamese people take care of you. It's like a big family. It's just cultural differences. Just come to Vietnam. You'll love it here. I think this is the last time I'll be speaking with you in Vietnam. Because the next time I see you will be in my apartment. Today's the last day. We're flying back to Seattle. Man. <laughs> She's done. The lighting kind of sucks <laughs> right now, but it's been, let's see, September, October, November, December. It's been four months since my eyelid surgery. I only have like light shadow in right now, but basically it's pretty um, sealed. I can kind of see like um, a little like in the corner. I started putting on makeup. I there's the lighting is so bad. I started putting on makeup literally three weeks, two and a half weeks. The time I came back to Seattle, that's when I started putting on makeup. A lot of times people say like the, the little scar ointment would help, but to be quite frank with you, I barely used any of the ointment. It was really sticky. Um, yeah, I did use it for about a week before I went to bed. I would always apply it on, but I wasn't consistent with it. And honestly, I turned out okay. I keep thinking this eye is smaller than this eye, which it is, it is smaller than this eye, but my eye shape, on my left eye always change. The eyelid on my left eye always change size. Your eye shape is just gonna continuously change. It's kind of like when you have puffy eyes, you wake up in the morning and you're like, whoa, why is it so puffy? It's because your eyes change every every day, you know, whether or not you're hydrated um, will have some effects on the way your eyes look. There's a lot of ways to go about it, but I just want to give you an update. It has been four months. This is what my eyes look like. Um, maybe if I can find like a picture of me without makeup, I'll put it in for you, but it's dinner time. And I just want to hop in and say what's up. It's been a while since I made this video, since I, need to make this video and it's really dark in here. My hand's getting tired. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go eat dinner with my puppy. Uh, I'm gonna add on, I'm gonna add more to this, but I will talk to you later.